What's up guys, Z Gummy here. Let's go through 30 Stamina Wands Island. Now the condition for Wands is that you can only bring Strength, Quick, and Dex characters. So it's only red, green, and blue characters this island. I'm going to be using a Double Slasher free to play team. I don't know what this guy's special is. Oh, it's Max 2. Okay. So we're going to be using a Double Mihawk Slasher team free to play. And our real character that, we actually, that actually matters is Sword of Ein. Because if you're playing this with a lower level team, Ayn is nice to have because she will unsilence your team if one gets under 30%. The mini boss for this island is going to be... Oh uh, shoot, what's his name? The CP9 guy. His name is of course Nero. Nero's the secret stage for the island and what he does, he'll show up on stage 1 through 6 and he will reduce your chance of getting a single type of orb. Either reduce your chance of getting red orbs, green orbs, or blue orbs. Now other co colored orbs will show up, like Psy orbs and orbs, so all the colored orbs show up. But if Nero shows up, he will reduce your chance of getting a certain type. So if you're using a single type team, for example, a double monster chopper team, or something like that, he'll show up and just reduce your chance of getting whatever orb it is. And it's randomly between stages 1 through 6. The secret stage for this island is wands and two pigs and some turtles. And on that stage, what you'll want to do, is wands will kill himself and drop a either a book or some money. And the rest of them, you just kill nice and easily. Nothing, nothing too very hard about the secret stage. You just kind of kill it. And all the other stages we want through six. Once again, nothing very exciting about these stages. The only thing you gotta, if you are using a lower level team and using like a lower level single type team, like just only decks or only, only decks characters or only quick characters or only strength characters, you can get in trouble if you don't have high enough characters to get it without matching orbs at all. I would recommend either a, I would recommend a predominantly strength team because ones is a dex character or a predominantly green team because Nero is a dex character and I messed that up but that really hurts. Uh, Nero is a is a quick character so if you're using a mainly dex team you'll do great against him. That's not what you want to do. That's like the opposite of what you want to do but we survived because we're lucky. Mostly because we're lucky, not because we're good. But thankfully, this island doesn't ha doesn't have any preemptive damage. But I do have to be careful to kill Wands quickly, or else he does poison you, which will kill us because his poison hits for two thousand four hundred every turn. We'll just pretend like we're a white beard team or something. So here you go. What we lose we lose out on quick orbs, which is great because I don't need quick orbs at all. Nero will attack every turn for 2,200 something, and he has 200,000 health, which isn't very hard to do. Should be able to take him out without much problem, especially if you're using a mainly dex team. He just crumbles to you using a dex team. What's up, my man Wands? Now Wands does have a three turn cooldown, and he pre uh, will preemptively give a five turn, or six turn, no, it's five turn, because it counts down one. Defense and attack boost up. With his, uh, he has 500,000 health, and I think I can just one shot him right now. But under 30%, what he'll do is, well, under yeah, under 30%, he will silence both of your captains for three turns, and he will, when he attacks, poison you for 999 turns that do 2,400 damage. But the poison only happens while you're under I mean the poison only he only poisons you after his attack so you don't have to worry about and I think my okay yeah so it doesn't matter where these orbs are the poison only happens after he attacks so I don't have to be war I don't I can push him to under 30% fine I'll lose my captain abilities which is what I'm for but I don't have to worry about being silenced I don't have to worry about being poisoned that's the entire fight. Wands does not have very much health or very much defense. The only thing you gotta worry about really is that Nero. Nero is probably the hardest thing about this island. Because if you're using 
I would normally rec I would have recommended a double monster topper team pretty easily for this island, but Nero can give you a lot of pain if he gets an attack off. 2,300 is or 2,200 is a pretty significant portion of a double monster chopper team. Wands Island gives you Strong Frankie, Strong Robin, and Kuma books. Strong Frankie books, amazing. Strong Robin books, pretty dang good. Kuma books, okay. And Wands himself, let me pull up those actual characters. Wands, 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 Wands. Wands. What Wands does is Wands, his captain ability is more or less useless. Boost attack and recovery of freedom characters by 1.5. Flip trash. His special amplify his boost orth by 1.25 for two turns. So it's a mini Kobe, mini mini uh, Kaku, not a great one. But he also reduces enemy defense for two turns. So enemy defense reduction, kind of useful if you want to pair him up with something else. One's not as important. His max stats also only go up to his max attack only goes up to 675. So one's is. Probably not a character you're going to be using at all, really. And we also have the more important, more interesting one, Nero. And what Nero does is his captain ability, also useless. It only reduces cooldown specials by three turns at the start. So it's only one time, just like Sengoku and other characters, he reduced by three turns. But he doesn't give you any sort of attack boost, which makes him more or less a trash captain. His special... Uh, boosts attack against enemies with increased defense by 1.3 for two turns. So the increased defense special is one of those unique ones that work like similarly to, like similarly to, similarly to, where are you? Saudi chan Wherever my Saudi chan is, there you go. Saudi chan where it's a different type boost, so you can use Nero and like you, for example you can use Nero and um, Robin and Doflamingo all in one turn so that gives you two times plus two times plus 1.3 times and you can also I'm not sure if it stacks with Saudi Chan or not I have to see what the symbol looks like but it's another 1.3 times attack boost that will definitely stack with both your orb booster and your type booster so he's a great way to get another 30% damage off especially against characters that already boost their defense you don't have to do anything. They're going to boost their defense for you. It automatically turns him on. You use him. It saves you versus Saudi Chan because Saudi Chan needs their defense to be reduced. So if you need, if you want to use Saudi Chan, you've got to have your tight booster, your orb booster, which is probably Doflamingo, tight booster, orb booster, Saudi Chan, and a defense reducer. Whereas with Nero, you can do tight booster, orb booster, and Nero. So he's going to be really, really useful for all those quests that say do a shiz ton of damage in one turn or against bosses that you want to do a ton of damage in one turn against and just blow them out of the water. So I'm probably, we're definitely going to get strong with Frankie books, definitely going to get Robin and Kuma books, and Nero is going to be pretty interesting too. I'm Zinigami, y'all stay beautiful.